Hello! Welcome to Battle Chess 4000 and this is Rocket Baby Dolls and I am here to show you how to play chess and give you some background into my chess career when I was 11 I joined a chess club and out of 8 people I was ranked number 8 so this is going to go really well so without further ado let's make a start these little guys at the front here these are called pawns and just like in the normal chess sets uh, their mission is to probe the alien king so these guys can move either one space or two spaces on their first turn after that they can only move one space and they can at only attack if their opponent is in a diagonal square so let's move one of these guys forwards give some breathing room and, and in chess the idea is that you take turns with your moves these guys here are called knights or in this version Buzz Lightyear and they can only move in capital L shapes so normally they jump over but I think in this version they just barge out the way so let's get him moving he is taking his time. We also have bishops here which in this game they look like politicians and they can only move in diagonal lines. We have rooks with, oh. okay he's just <coughs> so far he's just copying us. Yes we, these bishop guys can only move like so we also have rooks here which can only move in straight lines so they can move forward right down and left the queen here she can move any way she wants and the king <coughs> this guy here he can only move one space in any direction at any time well that's if there is a space there and the aim of the game is to decimate your opponent is it decimate the correct words? I can't remember destroy, let's just go with destroy for uh, grammar's sake so to take people's pieces off the board we have to attack them by landing on them like so It's been a while since I played the ball game, but I'm pretty sure that when you attack an opponent, opponent they uh, spring to life and attack each other in a violent manner. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> mm. 
So. Where, who shall we move next? Earlier in the game, it's pretty hard to put a strategy in place. But... We need to get those pieces up there. Let's get the rock moving. Well, after this one. There's, there is a special move you can make called castling, which your king, when there's a space, two spaces here, when a bishop moves and the knight moves, the king can move two spaces to the, to the right instead of just a normal one, and the rook leaps over onto the bishop square. And that can perform a defensive stance if there's three prawns in right in front of them. But it could also backfire as the king is more pinned towards the corner. But what's he doing with this bishop? I have absolutely no idea. I guess he's preventing my rook from moving forward. Let's respond in kind. I have absolutely no idea how the AI is going to operate in this, so he could take my prawn with his prawn, which means I could take his prawn with my prawn, or he's going to move his bishop. And I doubt... Oh, there we go. But if I take his prawn, that means he can take my queen with his. So either way, I'm pretty screwed. So my course of action now is to move my knight. And the only way I can really do that is by moving him backwards. Cowardly move, but there was no benefits in advancing. Hmm. Now, if I move my prawn to interfere with his bishop then he can take my prawn without any fault, any uh, well, well, retaliation. Now actually, I can still take him with my queen or my bishop. But then if I do that, he will take me with his bishop. So the next cause of action would probably probably be to use my knight. Let's do that. And he's still got 10 pieces. He hasn't even moved yet. Oh, so have I actually. Well, 
it's getting very sparse around the center. But if I don't do this now, then there is not many actions I can do. I need to remove this prawn from the board. I still can't see a definitive strategy going on here, but something will emerge soon, I hope. My next move basically depends on his, which, well, I guess during chess, that's just how it is. Well, that was the move that I didn't want to happen. Well, hmm. I think that I was going to move my knight originally, so right behind where the queen is standing, but I will move him here, I think. Good move, maybe? No? Yes? No, I can't do that because my king is being mated. If I move him. Hmm. Well, I was thinking of moving my king here. But if I do that, the queen can take the prawn and the bishop has her covered. Let's just move the king here. But I guess the bishop will move, will take the knight. Or the queen will. No, I'm, the bishop probably will. As he's covered by the queen. I think I'm going to be hammered in this game. Come on. And I guess that I should explain how to win this game. Basically, oh. So, the only course of action I have now is either moving my king out of the way or moving the bishop in front of the queen. Let's do that. So yes, I was explaining about how to win the game. To win, you need to have the enemy's king checked but also in a position where if any move he makes to escape to that any move he can make which will result in escaping that check if all the escape routes are well if they all result in another check then he it results in a checkmate 
which means you have killed the king. He, ca he cannot escape. But you can also result in a draw where if the king is not mated, checked, checked, that's it, mated is another thing entirely. But yes, if he is checked and he, any, no, hold on, let me get this right. It's been about 20 years since I last played chess, so, and I think right now it's, uh, you can probably tell. So either way, no matter what I do on this move, the queen is going to take one of my pieces. We haven't seen any of the rooks move so far, so this should be a new experience for both of us. As I was saying, there is a way to draw, and that is if the king is not checked, but the only move that the opposing player can make is to move the king, for example, if it's the last unit, and if the only moves he can make will result in a check, then it results in a draw as he as the opposite player cannot make a move. Now what can I do now? I can't move my knight. If the queen takes my rook, the bishop will take the queen. Let's get this knight in a slightly better position. But no, I've moved there. Uh, Bishop, bishop, check. I think my knights will have to make a supreme sacrifice. So let's, let's threaten his bishop with my prawn. I don't know how I'm surviving. I had a practice run before this game. And I had my ass kicked. Well, there's only one move I can really make right now. My knight is still in trouble. I can potentially still lose my rook.
Damn. Okay. okay, right. Let's get this rook moving. We need to get that queen right out of my junk. Shit. I just lost my rook. She's tough. Right. Hopefully this will work. I say hopefully, but it's not worked out so far. people left right and center right now so there's not a hell of a lot I can do to be honest and I have no idea what their next move is let's get this bad boy going Come on, just get it over with. Hmm. I'm going to have to be very, very careful right now. I still have uh, some small slim chance of winning this but right now all these eyes are just staring at me they know it's coming those accusing eyes Check. bollocks Bollocks. That's my rook taken. Hmm. Come on, just get it over with. I know it's coming. You know it's coming. Just do it. Check. Red 
Okay. Okay, that was somewhat surprising. Stop it. I have no idea what's going on right now. If he doesn't move that knight on this next turn, I have no idea what's going to happen. I could move my prawns further up ahead, risk taking out his bishop. What's going to move? Uh, yes, here we go. Stupid trying to punch him. Right. I have literally no real moves I can make right now. Did that king just move twice? I had I had absolutely absolutely no idea that castling could work like that as well. So Check. Sod it. I don't think he will risk losing his queen. I could be wrong. Check. You weren't supposed to do that. No! I clicked on the purple one. Oh, this is just great. God, I clicked on that purple one. Come on, try it.
bollocks. Well, that was um, total shit, really. Uh, well, that was how not to play chess in... Yeah, that was pretty bad. But anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, you just seen Rocket Baby Dolls have it socked to his balls. So this has been an educational video of uh, how not to do it. And I uh, will see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.